The National Industrial Court of Nigeria, NICN, has a joint fee suit filed by the federal government challenging the ongoing strike by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, dated 16th of September for further mention. At Monday's proceedings, the Socioeconomic Rights and Accountability Project, CIRAP, sought to join the suit as an interested party as its lawyer, Ebun Olua Adeburuwa, said that his client had filed a similar suit asking the courts to compel the federal government to honor its 2009 agreement with the striking varsity lecturers. The action of the federal government is totally condemnable in trying to abandon the negotiations that commenced already and not allowing that process to go through. We had filed an action on the 8th of September before this same National Industrial Court asking the court to compel the government to respect and enforce the agreements that is pending and binding on the parties because we're not giving a good impression to the entire world. If you willingly enter into agreements and then for one reason or the other, one party to that agreement is not willing to abide by it and is trying to use force. And that's why it's important that we believe that the court will intervene to ensure that that agreement remains enforceable. And then once that is done, we can then talk about how lecturers can go back to the universities and then the schools will open because the state of the universities presently it's totally decrepit. I am working with a lot of uh, alumni in my own former university, building hostels, doing a lot of things to ensure that the welfare of students and lecturers is something that can be uh, 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 proud of. So we can't allow a system whereby government abandons its own responsibilities, and then the money that is supposed to be used for infrastructure and the education of our children are being embezzled. How much is ASU asking for? What does it take to build the universities? So we believe that those of us who went through those universities, it was because of the commitment of government that we were able to attend those schools and we came out. But the federal government's lawyer, Tijani Ghazali, also a senior advocate of Nigeria, opposed Adeburuwa's application to consolidate the suits when he told the judge that Siraf's application was premature as the case was billed for mention on Monday. Uh, employees of your various organizations. You can't dictate to your organization how you will be paid. Your organization can decide to give you a check, can decide to pay direct into your account. One of their major issues is the issue of payment through either IPPIAs or UTAS. We are saying that that cannot be dictated to government. We reserve the right to pay the way we believe is most appropriate in the circumstance. The 2009 settlement has been resettled in 2020. They are avoiding that of 2020 and always talking about the 2009. By the time we file all the necessary things, you will have it to see. Reacting to Adwek Borowan Ghazali's arguments, Femi Falana, another SAN who represents ASU, said that he was aware of efforts by the lawyers to file court papers in the suit on Monday. Addressing journalists shortly after Monday's proceedings, Falana said the Nigerian government often adopts dilatory tactics that have a way of prolonging strikes. We have no business coming here because the matter ought to have been resolved by now. And the government has just set up another committee of 14 members. That was done last week. So we're expecting their report. So let's see. When we're just suddenly told that the government had rushed to the uh, uh, court. I hope it's not a reaction to the suit by Sarah. What the law envisaged was that if you didn't work, you shouldn't be paid. But if I'm saying I am going to work, you know in the past, when ASU declared a strike, the members always covered lost grants, and they're going to do so this time. So there shouldn't be any blackmail here. Yeah. Because when the government says there's no money, but you know there's money in the country. But it's a question of priority. Does the government, has the government given attention to education? And we must run a country. We are agreements are served by governments under the rule of law. 
The Congolese the government has signed an agreement with us and is registered in the Ministry of Labor. It's binding on the government. But the government has a way of violating its own commitment all the time. And that is why you have this right. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.